Did this burned down house cause window leaks it's next door? We're about to find out right now. All right, guys, so we get a call from the restoration company that is actually mitigating the fire damage to this house. And it, this whole block, you guys, it smells, smells like, like fire. It's crazy how yeah. strong it is. So guys, we're gonna test out a couple windows because the customer is really, really concerned with the next rains. She has no idea if this fire, the heat from the fire, caused all the seals around the window to uh, to loosen up. And yeah, so she's she claiming to... that the windows are yellowing out and she's just really afraid that this heat caused some warping on the window. So we've got to detect if there is actual water damage or water seepage into her bedroom. So let's get that set up. We're going to show you our process. And we're going to use the smoke machine. No pun intended, but we're going to start with the smoke. So let's uh, let's go ahead and get started. The team's getting prepared right now. first realized the complex was on fire. Well, I woke up to go get me a cold pop. And then I thought somebody was barbecuing. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. <laughs> then I ran out, I didn't grab no shoes or nothing, Jesus. I ran for my life. And then the smoke got me, I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Let's go. All right, so this neighbor does make a good point. I mean, the houses are only about 10 feet from each other. So with that, you got to think all of that burning structure produces about 1100 degree Fahrenheit. That's a lot of heat to warp a vinyl window. So let's go to the backyard and I'll show you the damage of this house here. Wow, look at the devastation. Look at the meter box, completely toast. Jeez, I couldn't imagine that. So yeah, look at, there's the window right there. You guys can kind of see the uh, how close these uh, two structures are. So the amount of heat that was being produced could definitely affect that window here. So we're gonna start from the inside and work our way to the outside or vice versa. So here's the window, guys. So they're worried about the seals Windows sliding good. Yeah, it looks like there's a, Just little, a lot of soot lot right of here. Yeah. 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 So I think what we had to do, Dave, is do an isolation test. Yeah, we're going to isolate it in here, and then what we're going to do is put smoke here and then the vacuum and see if we get any smoke coming from the outside. So I got to go, guys. I, I ain't got time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. So we're prepping the floors right now. This is the window right here that uh, we're testing. You can see the, the fire down is there. So Teresa, tell me a little bit about the fire. When did it occur? Uh, July 23rd at three o'clock in the morning. And what caused the fire? Uh, we're not really sure. Rumor has it, uh, maybe a candle. I think that's what they had in the video, the police video or someone took. Got it. And uh, I, that was, that's about the, all I've ever heard. So you were concerned it was blazing out of that house, huh? Oh yeah, the whole the whole roof, peak to peak, is gone. The whole inside's burnt. I mean, they were on my house, uh, watering the whole side because the wind was coming here. Okay. And it bas basically was on my roof. Hopefully the fire wasn't going to come my way, but yeah, it was just about touching. And can you feel the heat too? I, was, I had to get out of the house. And oh, that's back. right. They yeah. let me back in the house, so I had like five minutes. So, uh, yeah. All right, well, we're going to start the testing here shortly. We'll keep you posted. Okay, thank, thank you so much. See, this is kind of an interesting call here. So we're going to get the smoke machine ready to go and kind of do an outside and interior test and see if we're getting any any movement with the smoke. One of the things you guys can do is a quick little tip is you can use a, a candle. You know, get a candle, one of the cal candlesticks, blow out that candle and then go around the perimeter. And if it's uh, if smoke is escaping to the outside, that's one way that the seal has been broken uh, around the perimeter of the window. All right, guys, you can see here. We added a little vacuum just to a little blow Add a little bit more pressure here. It starts to inflate like a balloon and then it pushes, pressurizes. pressurizes and pushes that smoke through 
all the possible suspect areas there. I'm more concerned about this upper area here where we're getting most of the smoke releasing. Down here, not too concerned because there is a weep screed, which is really uh, an opening for water, rainwater to hit the window and then seep out onto the stucco or to the outside. That's what's so unique about our job is you don't know what you're gonna get yourself into. Uh, each day is so different. So this is a just a very unique call. I love things like this to and be able to- And a challenge too. Yeah, you know? absolutely. All right, we're gonna go ahead and conduct a water test. You can see they've done a lot of caulking on the top. So we're just gonna take some water, let it cascade as though it was a rainstorm and let it cascade over the window. And then we'll go to the inside and see if we're getting any water. When it comes to window leak detection, guys, what's really important is to, um, depending on how big or small the breaches are, you know, when, it's, when there's a storm, weather, there's a lot of wind. So if there's no wind, a lot of times the leaks don't occur, but if there is wind, that wind pushes into those small breaches. So when you're doing water tests, it's really important to kind of take your time with it because if there is a small breach, you want to be able to capture that. See it draining pretty well. So those aren't clogged, which is good. A lot of times, especially with fires, that could be, uh, could be a lot of fire suit. So right here though, we got water coming out of these seals here. Look at that right there. See that right there? Look at that. All right, John says that he's got getting uh, water inside the house of the of that bedroom. So let's go check that window. What do we got here, John? So we got a drip. I think coming from the top. See how it's separated right there? Oh yeah. And it's traveling behind this. Okay. And then accumulating right there. Nothing over here yet. Nothing over there yet. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this second window here. Just gonna start with an outside water test. See if we get any immediate water. So I guess the fire, what Teresa was saying is that the heat was so strong that inside the uh, telephone booth, here's a cool little telephone booth here. The fire came over here and literally caught this phone book on fire. That's why she's concerned about, you know, the heat and the seals around these windows. Okay, so this bedroom windows, we've determined it doesn't leak, but you can see that the fire did damage the window. You can see the, the little spots there. This window's gonna have to be replaced. The good thing with this window here, it's not a nail thin window, so they could just do, do a retrofit. It'd be pretty easy to replace. Crazy though. Couldn't imagine at three in the morning having a fire and having to wake up like that and move out of your house, just pure devastation, gosh. All right guys, well we found one window leaking and both of them scarred from that fire. So she's got one window to replace and the far back window she's gonna have to replace that glass for yep. sure, yeah. Hey guys, most importantly, I hope uh, this gave you some insight as what you could do so you could test those windows as well between smoke and water test. Leave the comments down below, I'd love to hear what you'd have to say or perhaps you may have some other ideas on what you would have done to test for those window leaks as well. Hit that subscribe button and as always we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next, next one. one.